if a chicken stayed for supper. On a clear moonlit night, Mommy Fox kissed each of her five children goodbye. We will have chicken for supper tonight, she told them. The little foxes licked their lips and their tummies rumbled. Now do not leave the den while I am gone, warned Mommy Fox. No, Mommy, sang the five little foxes together. The five little foxes huddled together. Tufty, Mufty, Rusty, Misty, and Rag. They waited, and then they thought of chicken for supper. They waited, and they waited. Let's go and play, said Rag. But Mommy said not to leave the den, said Tufty. It's very dark out there, squeaked Rusty. Well, I'm off to have fun, said Rag, and he darted out of the den and into the night. I hope he'll be all right, said Rusty. Maybe we should follow him, said Tufty. Each little fox crept nearer and nearer to the hole of their den. They sniffed the air. They looked at one another. Then, one by one, they leapt out into the night. They jumped. They romped. They rolled. They tumbled. They crept and they leapt. Suddenly, Tufty stopped. Just look at our muddy coat, she said. It's so dark, squeaked Rusty. One of us could get lost, said Mufty. One of us could already be lost, Rag laughed. Oh, no, said Misty. One of us is lost in the dark. The little foxes began to weep. Tufty wiped her eyes and sniffed. I'm the oldest, she said, so I shall count us all. She tapped each of their noses in turn as she counted. One, she said, tapping Mufty's nose. Two, she tapped Misty. Three, she went on as she tapped Rusty. Four, she got to Rag. Then she stopped. Four, gasped Tufty. Oh dear, one of us is lost. The little foxes wept some more. Then Mufty dabbed his nose. Let me count, he said. I'm the second oldest. He hugged each of their tails as he counted. One, he tugged Tufty's tail. Two, he grabbed Misty's. Three, he gave a pull on Rusty's tail. Four, he yanked Rags. We used to be five, and now we're only four, wailed Mufty. The little fox's weeping grew louder and louder. I wish I knew how to count, cried Rusty. Just then, Mother Hen appeared from under a bush. Cluck, 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 she said kindly. What's all this crying? One of us is missing, sniffed Tufty. We used to be five, and now we're four, stuttered Rusty. It's all my fault, wailed Rag. Then Mother Hen gently stood the little foxes in a row and patted each of their heads as she counted out loud. One, she patted Tufty first. Two, then Mufty. Three, next Rusty. Four, and Misty. Five, there, she patted Rag last. You found one of us, yelped Tufty. Thank you, thank you, yapped all the little foxes at once. Mother Hen led the little foxes back to their den. The hole at the top of the den was dark. We're scared, said Misty. Won't you come in with us, asked Rusty. Please, begged Rag. Well, just for a minute or two then, said Mother Hen. Deep, deep down the hole she went. At the bottom of the den, two eyes gleamed. Sharp white teeth sparkled. Whiskers twitched. A wet nose sniffed the air. Mommy, Mommy, yelled the little foxes together. Where have you been, said a worried Mommy Fox. She listened to their story as she stirred a steaming pot on the fire. We're hungry, said Rag at last. I'm not surprised, said Mommy Fox, and all I've brought tonight are vegetables from the farmer's field. Mother Hen looked at Mommy Fox. Mommy Fox looked at Mother Hen. But I've made a lovely soup, said Mommy Fox, smiling, and there's plenty to go around. Tufty counted out bowls for each of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the little foxes did have a chicken for supper that night, and she enjoyed the soup very much indeed. The end.